It's December 24, 1979, when the Soviet army invades Afghanistan, sparking decades of conflict and turmoil. Generations of Afghans, millions of people, flee their homes to neighboring Pakistan and Iran. Many are trapped in a cycle of poverty and social exclusion, with limited or no access to education and healthcare. UNICEF Iran, concerned at the worsening situation for Afghan children, was looking for ways to include refugees and migrants within the wider society, to give them a chance for a better future. In Maastricht, Dr. Melissa Siegel of UNU Merit and its School of Governance manages several migration research projects and coordinates the Migration Studies specialization. To address the needs of the migrant children, Dr. Siegel and her team set up a series of training programs for Iranian government officials. As a result, these officials started to rethink their position and provision for these young migrants. A shift in the establishment mindset is often the first step towards solving a long-term problem. Now, because of the new insights and knowledge built up, Iranian government officials understand the need to give young migrants a stake in society, a need relevant to both sides, Afghan and Iranian. This is just one example of the work done by UNU Merit and its School of Governance. We regularly partner with international organizations as well as the governments of developing countries via our DEIP program. Together we help emerging economies to catch up in the unequal global playing field of the 21st century. Crucially, we aim to do this without increasing inequality or social exclusion. We're also a research center and graduate school with around 80 PhD fellows and 100 master's students, possibly the next generation of world leaders. And. As a UN think tank, we address a broad range of policy questions on science, innovation and good governance. As in India, where Dr. Andy Hall of UNU Merit was asked to work on a problem as old as farming itself, fodder. Rural households rely on livestock for their livelihoods. Yet, despite the wealth of knowledge and technologies developed, good and affordable fodder remains scarce. Andy and his partners found that agricultural innovation doesn't result from new technology per se, but from informal networks of people sharing and applying new ideas in various new ways. They now realize that the game changer is not new technology, but the capacity of systems to innovate. Implementing these ideas and seeing them work laid the foundations for a mind shift. A shift now taking place from top to bottom, from government officials to farmers in the field. Driven by real-world problems and together with partners worldwide, we seek tailored solutions and roll them out through policy-oriented research and training. UNU Merit, based in Maastricht, serving the world.